everyone welcome to my episode of diamonds are forever this is a case of a 14 year old boy who underwent grt surgery in another center but could achieve the desired result the patient was referred to me for a re intervention we can see here that multiple bubbles of pfcl which are scattered all around on the posterior pool they were removed by using passive suction the retina had doubled permanent folds and it had folded upon itself as well there was a fold which was under it so it was a double fold inverted fold sort of thing you we used the diamond dusted scraper here to unroll it in my hands the diamond dusted scraper which works the best unlike the other forceps which when i use to untie or unroll the edges it causes inadvertent retinal tears or bleed we use the diamond dust scraper in a sweeping manner here we have used the light pipe also to see uh, leave some adhesion which were more firmer and were not amenable for to for diamond dust scraper to be relieved we use the diamond dust scraper in a manner in which we avoid the supravital areas like the macula we can see that there are still lot of pfcl bubble which are still present we are alternately using uh the diamond dust scraper what we can notice here that the surgeon had attempted to make a posterior retinotomy and laser around it and this had aggravated the subretinal fibrotic process you use the ilm forceps to remove the corio retinal fibrosis which had which is bridging the retina and once we have removed it and we are up to the satisfaction we use the vitrectomy cutter to further remove these debris we see that the, there are multiple pfcl bubbles which are still present under the retina and we use the passive suction of the fluid cannula to remove it as much as possible once we have satisfactorily uh, unrolled the retina we use the pfcl to further unroll it and use it for our satisfaction we use the brilliant blue dye from oro lab to stain underneath the pfcl to do a arcade to arcade island peeling. peeling what we can notice that is there is a tuft of pfcl bubble which is still present we continue with doing the ilm peeling underneath the pfcl which i is the preferred technique in my hand and once we have done a satisfactory ilm peeling we can still notice that there is a fold of retina which is still present at the macula so once we have we you can see and what we do is we again use the diamond dust scraper to further unroll and iron out the retina underneath the macula so that this fold can be relieved as much as possible and this is transmitted to the periphery once we have done it we proceed to remove the subretinal pfcl the large ch- bubble underneath it initially we try to do it by using a p- uh, passive suction but once uh, and but uh, thanks to our effort that it came out into the vitreous cavity the next step is to just uh, do complete the 360 degree retinectomy and uh, and once we have done it we proceed with trimming of the uh, resident uh, remnant retina and the rest of the steps are usual in a case of a 360 degree retinectomy with a with a three to five rows of laser and bridging the posterior ret- uh, retinotomy along with the incasing in the retina we do a direct pfcl exchange under the sandlin illumination and these are one month post op results we can still see there are few pfcl bubbles underneath it so with this i end my episode of diamonds for forever thank you